Whatever you draw using ballpoint pens, I'll pay for. The rules are simple. If you draw five iPhones, I'll buy you five iPhones. If you draw a car, I'll get you a car. I'm drawing an engagement ring. <laughs> All five of my friends will be drawing things they want me to buy, but only the best one will win the item they draw. The losers get nothing. Do you guys have any questions? Can we move this off of my workstation, please? Here, I'll help you. All right. Throughout this video, they will also be competing in challenges for advantages ah! and punishments. Not doing it. I'm not, I'm doing, not doing, it. doing it. These can change the entire outcome of this video. All right, you guys, this time has started. Now that the challenge has begun, I wanted to hear what everyone was thinking of drawing. Michelle, are you actually drawing in an engagement ring? Oh, that's one of the options. How big is the diamond going to be? This one? Michelle, that's like a one billion dollar ring. I've always wanted to go to Japan. If you draw some really cool sceneries from Japan, I'll buy you a plane ticket. I'll get you to stay there. I'll send you to that location and I'll get you some good food. I made some Kobe shoes last time in Lego art, but I think this time around, I'm gonna do the Kobe fours, Kobe fives, and the Kobe sixes. I really do want to take a trip somewhere nice, like the Bahamas, Hawaii. I want to go to Japan as well. This is your third video with us? Oh yeah. There's a reason why David's not in more videos. Pull up some images of his art. What is that? I think I'm going to draw a transformer because it's technically a car. And then, randomly, David, who you all know is cursed, decided to bet on one of the contestants. I'd like to place a bet on someone. I want to bet on Michelle again. No. Okay, fun. <laughs> if Michelle wins, no. I'll get you whatever she's getting. I have to pee. In typical Jake fashion, he already left the challenge to use the bathroom. So I decided to play a little prank. Like Wait, you me. Guys, everyone quiet. What's something funny I can draw on Jake's piece? Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Guys, can you tell me when Jake's coming back? I'm drawing him a bucket of fried chicken. He's coming back! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Wait, what were you guys just doing? What? Nothing. Wait, Jake, you drew an $8 bucket of fried chicken? No, I need a new paper now. Just flip it over. Here, Ben. No. Here, Ben. Now it's time for the first mini challenge to see who will get advantages and punishments. Guys, we're gonna start our first mini challenge to see who gets to win an advantage. Right, so on these index cards, I scribbled random lines and you will have three minutes to turn it into an art piece. <gasps> David, since you're the new guest, oh, choose someone to get first pick. Uh, Michelle. All right, Michelle, draw your first card. Choose this one. Whoa, what the heck is that? You're gonna have to turn that into something. Mackenzie, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, what the? Oh, that already looks a little like a dragon. Yeah. Woo! Okay, it looks like a Eiffel Tower. And finally, David. It's like an ice cream cone. All right, everyone, you have three minutes, go. Oh my gosh. Just so you guys know, the advantage is huge. Oh my God. You're gonna need to find a way to incorporate those. Things. I'm trying to turn this into a horse. I'm trying to turn this into some sort of tower. I am gonna probably try and make this into an ice cream cone of some sort. As Zach said, this looks like a dragon, so I'm doing a dragon. Hey, David. Don't disrespect space turkey. Uh, oh! 90 seconds. Oh my god, why is this not working? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. All right, everyone, give me your card. Hand me your card. I have this in the bag. All right, Michelle, uh, what did you draw? I drew Patrick Star as a color guard. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, I see it, I see it. <laughs> David's. I don't know what. It looks like a hand holding an ice cream cone. That's exactly what it is, Michelle. Thank you. All right, Jake, what is this? It's a electrical tower electrocuting a human. You could see the uh, x-ray of the person that's down below. Oh, that's pretty smart. All right, Ben, what is this? A dragon. You followed the shape, but you didn't really use the lines in your piece, though. Oh, not bad, Mackenzie. You actually followed the lines pretty well. Thank you. It's honestly between Jake, Ben and Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> and after some further deliberation, I decided on the winner. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go with Mackenzie's. Dang! Yes! No. no! Mackenzie, I think you did a pretty good job of following the shapes, and I think you saved it with the little belts going across. Thank you. You get to go around, take a look at everyone's piece. Okay. And we'll get started two and a half hour countdown for everyone. Oh. Take a look around, Mackenzie. And one thing I didn't tell Mackenzie is after their time is up, they're actually gonna join our team. I feel like if I do this to Bean, Bean's gonna know what to do and he's gonna manage it well. 
If I give this to Jake, he will not manage it well. He'll probably just be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> but Bean also has more wins. All right, I'm just going to hope that Jake will still not finish regardless, and I'm going to give it to Bean. Starting right now, you only have two and a half hours. Oh. Okay. Also, Mackenzie, there was something else I didn't tell you. Once his time is up, he has to help you for the rest of the challenge. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, I'm oh so God. happy I chose Bean! Now that the punishment has been distributed, the artists got back to work. Unfortunately, I'm notorious for not finishing my piece, and I probably would have just got taken out of the competition. I only have two and a half hours left, but I think I'm at a good spot right now, so as long as I don't get targeted for the rest of the challenge, I should be fine. I'm slowly working on the temple, and it's really difficult. This is one of the first times I've tried to draw a building. I'm trying my best. I'm really trying to win. I really want to go to Japan. My plan is to do a good base sketch and then let Bean put the finishing touches on it. After making some additional progress, it was time to introduce the second mini challenge. Artists, please come to the front. In this challenge, you guys will all close your eyes and put out your hands. I'm gonna put a ballpoint pen in one of your hands and you need to give it to someone else. Whoever gets the ballpoint pen needs to guess who gave it to them. If you guess the right person, they're out. If you guess incorrectly, you're out. So I'm gonna give it to one random person. Whoever gets it can open your eyes and give it to a random person. And we're gonna see who's the last one remaining. Okay, ready? And the contestants are going to wanna to win this challenge because this advantage is huge. First person, you can open your eyes. All right, everyone open your eyes. Michelle, you can ask questions. All right, who gave it to me? <laughs> <laughs> me. 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 Why do I feel like me. it's Jake? Is that who you pick? But I also heard David's feet move. Maybe David? Nope. Oh. All right, Michelle, you're out. <laughs> All right, everyone, you may open your eyes. It was me. Shut up. <laughs> it's not Jake because I felt it come from this side. I mean, David, did you give this to me? No. OK, that's Ken's. Ken's? Is it? Oh, it's yes, it's out. <laughs> everyone, close your eyes. If you have the pen, you can open your eyes. All right, everyone, open your eyes. It was me. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. I swear, it wasn't. It was. It was me. It was me. It was Shut me. Shut up. <laughs> My gut feeling is David because I felt something on the right side again. <laughs> In my hands is a red cap and a blue cap. Whoever gets the red cap wins. First come, first serve. Jake got it. Jake, let's see if you win. Uh. You won! Yes! You want to know your advantage? Yeah. You get to choose two people for this. They have to draw anything you want the size of this circle on their piece. Like I said, the advantage is really big, so let's see who Ben targets. Hopefully, Ben doesn't choose me. <laughs> Hopefully, Ben doesn't choose me. Hopefully, Ben doesn't choose me! I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Ben! <laughs> okay, well, Ken's, I think I have to choose you first. You just need to draw something this size somewhere on your piece, but I get to choose what you and, draw. And you don't get to cover it with your piece. It needs to be that size. You get size. to pick what it is? Mm -hmm. Crap. That's terrible. OK, I want an authentic representation of trap turkey in your piece somewhere. <laughs> yes! Trap turkey. And if you do it wrong, I will be over there to tell you how to fix it. You still have another person to choose, you know? I know, I'm thinking. With one more person left to punish, Michelle used the best line she possibly could to not get targeted. <laughs> I kind of want to see what David will come up with. What is that? This is his manifestation. <laughs> but uh, why is it a shape? Well, no, just let me finish the piece, okay? Everyone doubts me. Trap turkey. I mean, are you seriously going to target me? You know who your number one competition is. It's this guy. If you want to win yeah. Artist what of the Year, you, talking you about? knock him You're out right now. You're just mad at me. You're just mad you, at me. because you suck. We're in a war, and he's mad at me for some reason. So what is Trap Turkey That's manifesting? Uh, you're going to see. Instead of him manifesting whatever, I want you to manifest a realistic portrait of Zach and Michelle somewhere. <laughs> ben targeted me. I don't really think it was needed or fair. I think it's honestly pretty ridiculous. Now, after Ben punished two of the contestants, I wanted to check in to see how everyone was doing. Michelle, how's it going? Uh, it's good. So oh, ben, looks adorable. ben gave me an idea where instead of just trying to Did tell, he help you draw that? Because that looks really good. I did it. <gasps> no way, Michelle. I did it. David, let's see it. What is happening? You didn't even draw that circle in perspective. I'm not drawing in perspective, Zach. I'm drawing in David form. Oh, Jake. 
This has a lot it's of potential. Thank you. Ben, that looks pretty good. Mackenzie, you're doing your trapped turkey on the side? Yeah, does this count? Let me see if it's large enough. Nope, not big enough. It needs to I come out there. I hate everyone. With each artist now making some good progress on their art, let's introduce mini challenge number three. All right, close your eyes. In my hand are five pens. There are four blue pens and one red pen. Whoever pulls the red pen gets punished. Jake, grab your pen and keep your eyes closed. Ben, Mackenzie, Michelle, grab a pen. Keep your eyes closed. David. Oh, David. It's totally All right, weird. everyone, open up your eyes. Wait, are you kidding me? And unfortunately for Mackenzie, she pulled the red pen. Mackenzie? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't even know what this I'm is, but I it. saw it on the side. So, Mackenzie, you're putting this on the rest of the video. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Dude, I have a massive pimple on my chin and this hurts. So. I'm pretty sure this like exfoliates or something. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm going to my happy place. Happy, happy place. place. Happy, happy place. place. Happy, happy place. place. Happy place. Happy place. Trap turkey. Trap turkey. Trap turkey. Trap turkey. Where's the trap turkey at? In here. I'm not seeing where it is. A little update here. It's very time consuming to do this. Uh, I'm hoping it will turn out pretty nice. As you can see, I really got Zach's mouth right. And then I think I captured Michelle's features pretty well. That does not look realistic at all. And what happens next is probably the craziest part of this entire video. Well, in my opinion. Oh, did anyone see that? Yeah. No. My friends didn't seem to think so though. I need your honest opinion on this. Do you want me to rate it out of 10 or something? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Why are Michelle's armpits like six inches out to the side? David, so five being an average looking art piece and 10 being the best I've ever seen, I'd probably give this a 23. <sighs> ah. I agree with that, yeah. Before the next mini challenge, I let the artists work a little bit longer than usual. And remember, whatever they draw, I'll pay for, so there's a lot on the line. Mackenzie, it looks like you're ready to catch something. Yeah! Holy crap, Jake! What? Jake, it looks awesome, but it's so tiny. Thank you. All right, everyone, stop what you're doing. Come over here, we have a little challenge. For this next challenge, the contestants will play Knockout. And for those of you who don't know what it is, if the person behind the first shooter makes their basket first, the first shooter is eliminated. The contestants will continue to shoot baskets until only one remains. Ah! All right, are you ready? Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Michelle, you're out! Keep, keep going, keep going! Oh, shoot! Oh, Jake, you're out! Yes! No! <laughs> Oh my god. Hit it out, hit it out! Go! Oh! Bang! Wait, I didn't expect so many people to make it from back here. Okay, Ben, so you have a two part advantage. Okay. One, you get to send someone to a 20 minute workout. And number two, you get to eliminate one color from anyone. With such a big advantage, Ben had a huge decision to make. Jake? What? I haven't targeted you yet. I know. Michelle, you went to the gym this morning, right? Yeah, I did go to the gym this morning. You can ask my trainer. Jake, you went to the gym, right? Yes. David, did you work out today? Uh, nope. Ken, did you work out today? Yep. David, since you haven't worked out today, you have to do a 20 minute workout. All right, that's fine. Clearly Ben's the most scared of me. He just keeps targeting me. He's clearly horrified of me winning and you know, thanks Ben, I really appreciate the compliment. That's pretty good. Thanks. Too good. Jake, this is only because your piece looks really good and you're scaring me right now. Okay, what um, is it? Is it really bad? can't use black anymore. Wait, he gets to just choose a color? That's what I put on the creative. Yeah, because you saw me having one color. No, actually. <laughs> no, that's it was the reason. gonna be an elimination for a color. Oh my God. I mean, at least he finished this section. Yeah. While David continued his workout, the other artists continued to draw and Jake started experimenting with different colors since he can no longer use black. Right now, I'm just experimenting using blue and red pens because I feel like maybe I can get a darker color if I mix the two. I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't look bad. 45 minutes left, so I'm gonna attempt to draw a snake in the background. Oh, that would be cool. 
Oh, Michelle, it's looking so cute. Okay. This could be your first crest win of the entire year. I'm very happy with this piece. Zach, I need a plushie from zhcstore.com, turkey, to finish my piece. Take a space turkey. If you guys don't own this, you should buy it at zhcstore.com right now. <laughs> can I be in more videos? David is absolutely right. You can get turkey at zhcstore.com. Zach told me that my trap turkey is not visible enough, so I have to go in and shade it, uh, which is gonna take a lot more time, and also, it's going to be a complete eyesore. So thank you, Bean. Thank you, David. Thank you, Jake. What I thank you, trap turkey. Trap turkey. Everyone? I have a quick little thing for you. I think you guys have all had it pretty easy this video. We're gonna switch things up a little bit. Wait. Close your eyes. No. In my hand are two red pens and three blue pens. Pull the red pen, you lose your reference. Mackenzie, reach behind you and close your eyes. Ben, Jake, choose one for you, one for David. All right, Michelle, you get the last one. All right, who's got the reds? Ah! David got the red, so he loses his reference. Ben. No more references. Okay, unfortunately, I pulled the red pen, which means I don't have a reference anymore, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to draw a snake head with no reference. And since David wasn't at the table, my other videographer had to inform him of the bad news, which he surprisingly took pretty well. So you lost all your references? Uh, I didn't have any references to begin with, so it's not a problem for me. Thank you, I'm gonna go pee. I am getting really worried right now because I'm not even halfway done with my piece and I only have an hour and a half left. I'm working very slowly right now. I'm not close to finishing at all, so I am rushing now. With yet another punishment out of the way, everyone continued to work on their art pieces. All right, Mackenzie, interesting piece. It looks pretty nice, but what I really want to see is the traps oh, I turkey. Know. Do you think it's going to add a lot to your piece? No. Oh, pretty nice. Uh, I only have 10 minutes left. Oh yeah, 10 minutes left then. Hey, just in time for a mini challenge. You gotta stop smearing on your page. Everyone, we have a little challenge to do right now. The advantage the artist could win in this challenge is arguably the biggest of this entire video. The person who wins this challenge will get to choose who goes head to head in sudden death before the finals. <gasps> Does anyone want to win this? Me. Yes. Me. Me. We are going to play a little bit of ZHC Crafts trivia. Uh. If you get it first, you get a point. First person to four points wins. Let's start off with an easy one. What was the last 3D video we had on ZHC Crafts? Gummy. Oh, it was gummy. Yes. All right, next one. As of this recording, what was the last ZHC Crafts short we posted? I know what it is. What is it? Lego art. Nope. The portrait one. That was on the main channel. Three. I don't know, marshmallow. Yep. It was face paint. Ah. Uh, All right. I'm gonna go around the table. You guys each say a number. Mackenzie, how many videos do we have posted on ZHC Crafts? 173. 237. Jake? 238. 214. Oh, Michelle? I was gonna get 215. Well, David, you got a point. It goes 203. Damn it, I was gonna say 201. Ooh, this is a good one. As of this recording, how many LEGO art videos do we have on the ZHC Crafts channel? Five. Three. Four. Four. You got it right, three. Let's go. Right, ben, you just need one more to win. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't three. Oh. Oh, wait, Jake, you are right. It is four. You're Woo! welcome. All right, Jake, yeah, <laughs> Thanks, you get a point. Ben. I'm going to start playing a soundtrack from one of our videos. First person to guess it wins. So, oh, uh, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> wait, ben, ben, I had to punish you for saying that. <laughs> Face paint? Nope. Uh, That's your guess. So far, my rice art's looking really cute. Rice, rice art. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull up another video. Character for me. Jake, Ben, you each have one push up. This is going to be super hard. Lego. So oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. First person to guess this short. Dragon and Risa. Slime. You got it, Michelle. Ben, you're at two. Jake, you're at one. David, you're at one. Mackenzie, you're not even trying. I can't hear with this mask on. Okay, I'll do it over here then. Guess the title of this short. All right, man, let's see it. No, got it. Rating bead art? Nope. Oh, uh, rating stained glass art? Yes, Jake. All right, this could be the final one. First person to guess the title of this video. One person at a time, Barbara's. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh uh, oh, it's, it's best jello art? Yes, oh! Jake! Woo! You got it! 
Jake. Yeah. That means when we go into judging for every sudden death round matchup, you get to choose who goes head to head. Wait, All didn't right. you do this last yeah, time too? Yeah, I won this last time. Oh my goodness. Wait, Jake, so what did you learn choosing sudden death matchups from last time? Last time I realized that even though I have the choice of who I want to go against each other and I have an idea of who I want to lose or win, sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. That is true. But you do get to place the two best ones head to head immediately. Yes, that is true. Ben? Guess what? Ben, it's time to come work for me. Your time is up, Ben. Duh. It's time to go work on Mackenzie's trapped turkey. No, no, I'm working on the trapped turkey. Bean's gonna do all this stuff, Bean. Bro, what? With Ben's time now up, the remaining artists began to work while he started to help Mackenzie work on Bumblebee. I'm just hoping that my main piece is good enough and stop, stop, stop it. Mackenzie, what if the, the subscribers are voting and they're like, oh, the won't be so cute, but I don't know what that thing is on the bottom right. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore because I don't have black, which is the main color. My recommendation to you, you have a very beautiful thing over here. If you can do like a bird or like a crane or something like that, using like one of the blues, I don't know. Mackenzie's really putting Ben to work. If you wanna crop in on your piece, so you can like just do this part. <laughs> yeah. Since David is the creator of Trapped Turkey, he decided to check in with Mackenzie to see how well she was incorporating it into her piece. All right, Mackenzie, uh, so you're trying to draw my masterpiece. That's not good. I would go in with a darker marker no, or pen. No, no, this is the color that matches my piece. Frankly, I would just scribble it out and just do another one. Yeah, no, that's not happening, but I really appreciate your input. Thank you so much. Zach, I think she should scribble it and make another one. Well, I mean, if it's not accurate. Zach, it is accurate. I mean, it's not accurate. I mean, David, you did invent Trapped Turkey. It is my yeah. original. I'm not piece, doing this. yeah. I'm not doing this. It is my. It's not. not it's not accurate. As time continued to dwindle, it seemed like David got a bit bored because he couldn't help but bother the other artists, including Michelle. Hi. Hey. Michelle, why don't you want my help? I really don't need any help. Come on. I'll let you know when I need help. Okay. Jake. Get away from me! <laughs> hey! Sure it would be a shame if someone just. After making some additional progress, some of the contestants started to finish their pieces while others worked down to the last second. I think my piece is looking pretty decent so far. Bean is killing it on the lower half of it. I think I'm actually gonna finish, which I was very worried about. Well, I think I just finished up my piece for the day. Lots of detail in that. This will probably be the last crafts video Zach ever puts me in after he sees my final piece. So I finished the, the anime character, I finished the, the temple, uh, and now I think I'm just gonna add in a few extra details. Shelf. I really, really like my piece. I really hope it wins, but I'm not super confident. And now it's time for me to address the elephant in the room. Apparently Ben and Jake fans have been at constant war with each other. And I'm actually curious to see who's winning. So for this video, I'm gonna type up your name and see how much pops up. Jake, you have 10 seconds to rally up your fans. Ever since I lost Black, this challenge was totally strict for me. I need you in the comments right now to go to war. <laughs> I need you. Ben, you have 10 seconds to rally your fans. Ben fans, you're already great. Just leave no survivors. Annihilate them. In my next video, there'll be no Jake fans left. <laughs> I'll let them have this one, but we all know Munchie fans, you guys are the best, and we have more than all of them combined. In the comments, after a week, I'm gonna look up who's winning the war, and I'll pin it as the comment. Okay, well, what about my fans? Mackenzie, do you want to join the war? I don't even need to be in a war. It's very clear. I have more fans than everyone. You rally your fans to the test. Okay, come on, tigers, let's go. <laughs> I guess we'll see who comes out as victorious, and all the other fans will be blocked. <laughs> Before the war starts, I decided to put a bit more at stake. How about we put some money on it? I'll put a hundred bucks down to whoever wins this war. I want to be a part of it now. Get in there, David, David fans. You have no leverage. I have fa fans. It's just gonna be your mom commenting. <laughs> With about a minute left, the artists who were still working started to add their final details. You got this, Bean? One minute. Ben, I'm not gonna lie. If I were you, I'd be kind of scared of Mackenzie's piece too. You know, Ben, I think we need to add some darker outlines down here. Add some black and see. That's what you Nothing's going on. Yeah, I hear you. You're like this. Dondras. Nice, Bane, you're doing great. What are you doing? I'm watching my piece. Can you help clean up? No. Guys, comment down below about this unjust treatment. You know what to do, Ben. It's not unjust. 
Pico and I've been in this position for hours. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, time's up, time's up. Skadoosh. Now that the challenge is over, let's take a look at the finished art pieces. Everyone gather up. Mackenzie, we're starting with you. Would you like to tell all of us about your piece? So this is baby Bumblebee and he's holding a little Camaro. And I drew him because he shapeshifts into this Camaro. So all this becomes this tiny thing over here? Yes. And so if I win, I would like the rest of my car loan paid off. I will pay off your car loan if you win. Okay. I believe there's something else in your piece. Nope. <laughs> That's it. That's there is, the whole yeah. piece. Let's see it. Oh. Kind of There's also that thing. I like how dark the eyes are. It really pops. It has gills. Very yeah. impressive. Not enough hair on this, it though. This would have been eligible for the golden buzzer if it wasn't <laughs> for that over there. And by the way, whoever gets a golden buzzer, it only happens once in a while. You automatically go to the finals and get $1,000. Next time I would just get like a really dark black marker and like yeah. really push Next down on the paper. That's what I said. Yeah. Next time that's not happening. Very nice piece, Mackenzie. All right, moving on. I'm a really big fan of Kobe, and I love shoes, so I drew some of Kobe's famous shoes, and then I drew a snake in the background to represent the Black Mamba. Ben, Mortal. how many shoes do you have now? Uh, a lot of shoes. We need an estimate. Basically, if I lived until 100, and I gave away one pair of shoes every year, I think I'd still have some left over. <laughs> what? You have over 100 pairs of shoes? Wow. Those shoes are like $800 each. Well, this one goes for like 900, and then like 650, and then this one goes for like 850. You could sell your shoes and buy a house. I could. Well, Ben, it looks very nice. The Thank snake you. head is a little weird. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it looks really good. Thank so you. So if you win, I will buy you all three pairs of those shoes. Very nice, Ben, very nice. All right, Jake. I did a little Japanese-inspired art piece, the Japanese temples. Your piece is so small. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you get taken away the one color that you were only using. One color? When I got black taken away, I added some color to the actual building, and then I added some vegetation around it and then Mount Fuji. I added a moon in the background, and then I didn't know what to put here, and I didn't have enough time, so I just put the Japanese characters. Well, Jake, for... I do have to say it's very small, but there's a lot of detail, and the building looks really solid. So Your cross hatching yeah, looks could've... really good, but my favorite part is this tree and this tree. If you win, I will send you to Japan. Very nice. All right, let me get this going. So we have a uh, manifestation trap turkey here. Uh, see, it's manifesting a whole lot of things. This is just a lot of chaos geometry, you know. And then we have the most important aspect of the piece, which is Zach and Michelle over here. And this down here, this bottom part, is uh, the, the, the blending of their DNA for their firstborn child, which is uh, up above here, which is also a weird looking alien. Zach is leaking, by the way, just like trap turkey over here to the left. I just want to point that out. This is Ben as trap turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, look like you're bad. and then this is just some weird creature that's Kenzie. I really liked how accurate you got Zach. <laughs> is that is that broccoli in Michelle's yeah, it's teeth? Broccoli in Michelle's teeth, and actually, if you look at the child's mouth, it also has broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause it is. laughs> Michelle does always have vegetables in her teeth. But really, you guys are <laughs> overlooking one of the best parts of the piece, which is. Manifestation No, turkey. Manifestation Turkey clearly gets outshined by the rest of the piece. That's just a fact. Like I said earlier in this video, whatever they draw, I'll pay for, which made me wonder, what am I supposed to buy for David if he won? No, serious question. I, I have no clue what he drew. Wait, wait. We forgot the most important thing. What the hell am I buying for you? <laughs> David, you have nothing on your piece I can buy. No, I said I wanted, a, I said I wanted yeah, an art David. piece. David, okay, so if you win, I will pay a professional artist right. to recreate this piece. That sounds good. For you. That sounds great. <laughs> okay, Michelle, what do we have here? So I had the same idea as Jake. I want to go to Japan. Oh. So I drew a temple. I drew an anime character because I had a feeling my temple wasn't going to be as good. <laughs> I drew some really bad cherry blossoms. What happened blossoms. to the... <laughs> Michelle, what happened to the cherry blossoms? Zach, I'm not very good at drawing cherry blossoms. Michelle, don't smear it. Don't smear it. <laughs> what happened? I also worked really hard on like this top of the temple. If I don't look really closely, yeah. it looks pretty solid. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie. Yay. Michelle, Michelle, that means if you win, I will buy you a giant stuffed animal. And? <laughs> All right, I'll send you to Japan, <laughs> as well as David if you win. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. That'd be so unfair. I need to go there. With all of the pieces now displayed, it's time to judge the art. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna be doing judging. Two people are gonna be going head to head every round in sudden death until we have two finalists. And remember, Jake gets to choose the matchups during the sudden death judging, which is huge. Let's see who wins. Jake, only rule is you can't send yourself immediately to the finals. Okay, I think I'm gonna choose to go against David first round. So if you beat David right now, you go straight to the finals. I am sending both of these over. Jake, if you lose this, I don't even know what to say. I asked a random subscriber which piece is their favorite. Whoever loses needs to immediately lower their seat. The person that's moving on. David! Congratulate Jake, come on. Congratulate Jake. Okay, yeah, congratulate Jake. <laughs> Nobody even believed it when I said David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake, who's going head to head in the next round? I have to put Ben no, and Mackenzie versus All right, Ben and Mackenzie. Oh boy. You two are going head to head in sudden death. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think this is gonna be pretty close. Ben, how are you feeling? There's a chance, but I don't feel as confident because I wish I just had more time. I really hope that they just look at this. They responded. They said, ooh, tough call. Oh, no. But the bumblebee! No. Yes. no. Ben, you have yes. been eliminated. Mackenzie, you're moving on. Come on. So I think I'm going to go to the finals, and you two can go ahead and dish it out. Oh, God. All right, so Michelle versus Mackenzie. Honestly, I would not be surprised if I lost Munchie's piece. She did really good on the building, and she did really good on the main character. I would be surprised if I won, because Mackenzie's piece looks really good. Oh, Michelle. He looks so adorable. I... But unfortunately, you're not moving on. Aww. Mackenzie, you're moving on. Oh, 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 the Japan trip. <laughs> Jake, you guys can either do a best of three or a best of five. Let's just do three. Just get over it. <laughs> All right, I'm asking three subscribers which piece is their favorite. First person to two votes wins. The first vote goes to Mackenzie! No! Mackenzie, you literally only need one vote. It's only out of three. David, do you want to announce who the next winner is? Sure. The winner of this one is... Jake! Really? Yes! Really? Yes. Oh, no! Jake! Oh, shoot! Confirmation. No. Oh, wait, that means the final one's going to be it. All right. Oh, the God. final God. vote. Are you guys ready? Yeah. No. Goes to... the rest of your card loan. I know it's not as fun as a trip to Japan, but I really appreciate it, so thank you. Do you have anything you want to say to your fans? Thank you everyone for supporting me. Keep supporting me, and I love all you guys. Jake, you'll go to Japan one day. One day, not today. Subscribe! Bye! Mackenzie, your car's paid off! Woo! This isn't even my car, this is Jake's!